Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to get started here this afternoon. Can everybody hear us okay? No? We can assemble a little closer. <laughs> about today's announcement and the potential opportunities that it brings to the city of Waterbelief. Having been involved with economic development for the past 25 years, it's projects like these that bring those incentivized projects in the future. So I'm very excited to see where the city of Waterbelief can move itself towards. Bringing forth change, uh, you have to have vision and you need to make hard decisions along the way. Over the years I've learned that uh, words like development, transition, innovation and transformation are often used to replace the word change. Well, the gentlemen that are assembled here behind me uh, today embody these elements of change. And it's my pleasure this afternoon to introduce to you the mayor of the city of Waterbury, Charles Petroselli. Thank you. And thank everybody for coming tonight. I am absolutely ecstatic that I'm able to announce the project that we worked on for, for the past four years has come to fruition because of what is perhaps the largest private donation the city has ever received. Waterfleet native Scott Earl, owner of Twin Bridges Waste Recycling and Prestige Vending, is the reason why we're here today. His gift of $500,000 will enable the city to build a splash pad at the south end of the school, right behind where you're standing, at this, at this, very, this, very, uh, this very site. Our goal is to have the splash pad up and running in the summer of 2022. Scott Earl should be familiar in many ways to the city. He recently donated a $300,000 garbage truck to the city DPW fleet. His generosity and his commitment to the city is overwhelming. Four years ago, I had the idea of building some sort of, uh, some sort of splash pad uh, pool for the children here in the city. I firmly believe in the youth of our city of Waterfleet and certainly worth the investment, and my goal was to provide a holistic approach of programs and activities that they can enjoy. The City Council has done an outstanding job using the limited resources available to us to clean and spruce up the parks for our kids and make Redsfield, the city's youth soccer and football programs, work with the Waterfleet Little League and keep players, families, and patrons safe. Clean and repair the dome to ensure such programs with the AAU and other programs of, of club events available to the city's youth. While exploring the addition of the spray, spray, spray splash pool, I knew we would overcome several needed to overcome several obstacles. Several being the space needed for such an addition to the city. Waterfleet is a small city comprised of growing neighborhoods and suburban communities, and the city does not have growing fields or vacant land to draw developer dollars to create community investments for our residents. The city has a little land available to develop and barely enough finances to keep our budget in, in the black and cover operating costs for our yearly budgets. However, as I learned through the decades of private service, public service, if you don't develop a plan and don't ask for help, projects don't get done, and to answer your plea for help will always be a no or a yes. Splash pools are popular with the families and children and are featured in our amusement parks in several local municipalities. The biggest obstacle was the cost and how to find the funding. Of course, we can always apply for grants, but they take years, and most of you know I'm not patient when it comes to completing projects. I reached out to Scott to inquire if he'd be interested in help defraying the cost. He responded with a resounding yes. Next, I wasn't sure how to plan and design the splash pool, so I started searching around for those who had some knowledge on how to design and proceed with such a project. I didn't have much luck until I ran into a Tom Augusta, and he told me that his son-in-law designed such projects. Me not being bashful or shy, I immediately reached out to Mark Argona, and he jumped on board willing to design and help in any way possible and at no charge for his services. This was unbelievably a great 
greatly appreciate it. Mark Aragona is the owner of Wizard Works Design Group, which specializes in water parks for the campgrounds and amusement parks. Mark's initial design was a splash park for toddlers and young children. When we showed the design to Scott Earl, he stated he wanted to include a splash park for the next age group of children, eight to nine year olds, as well as the area for toddlers and young children. So Scott increased the size of the gift, which is why we're here today to announce the dream that has come through to our expectations. Scott and Mark's commitment is just an example of their confidence and appreciation of what is happening here in Waterville. This only shows our work is being noticed and others are willing to invest their time and money to make Waterville a greater community. We cannot accomplish this alone and we appreciate their help. And this is a domino effect and hopefully contagious. We can show others that we are committed and serious about the future of Waterville and only for the best of everyone. Just this past week, we dedicated the Bell Memorial at the foot of the Congress Street Bridge, which was donated by the Waterville Charitable Foundation under the direction of John Rosano, another former city resident. On top of this, we also received some funding from State, uh, State Senator Neil Breslin and State Assemblyman John McDonald to help defray costs of desperately needed repairs to City Hall and other long overdue projects. Again, Council Members Barb Diamond, Peter Tornsello, and I are grateful to Scott and Mark for their contributions to this project, which will be available to the city's youth for a year to come. Thank you both. I'm going to ask now, I'm going to ask Mark Aragona first to step up and talk, a, a few, say a few words. Mark? Thank you, Mayor. I tell you, it's a pleasure to be a part of this project. At Wizard Works, we built water parks all over the world in some pretty exciting places. But I'll tell you, there's none more exciting than being a part of this project here. I spent some time living in Waterville a few years back. My wife, of course, grew up in Waterville, and her family has deep roots going back generations who still live here in Waterville. So for me, this is very personal. And it's a thrill of my lifetime to be able to take the experience that we have in building water parks and see this dream that the mayor has had come to fruition. And the water park is going to be state of the art, using the best equipment in the industry. The equipment is using something called SmartWorks technology, which is the most modern technology. So all of the equipment, the play toys and the play features that reside out in the play site are communicating with a computer that's in the mechanical room. This not only increases the play value for the patrons and the children and allows them to interact better with the play toys, but it's a very smart system too, so it uses the water very economically. When there's no patrons playing on the play structure, the computer turns itself off to conserve water. So it's an extremely smart attraction. It's going to be very thrilling, filled with a lot of really fun and whimsical play features for the toddlers all the way up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. And I also want to thank Mr. Earl for his wonderful contribution. Otherwise, this project may not have happened. So this is really a tremendous gift from Mr. Earl. Thank you. And now I guess Scott, Scott Earl to say a few words. Good afternoon. Thank you. Having grown up in the city of Waterville was probably the highlight of my life. I enjoyed the streets. I know most of the people uh, collected garbage, so I saw every single home from the back alley. The trash cans in the front and the alley behind the house. I saw the grape vines and tomato vines and the way that people really took care of their properties. I grew up in the 70s, early 80s, before I had left the city in the early 80s to uh, go on and continue my career. However, I always felt it was very important to care for the place where you were born. And returning to Waterville after many years and seeing the commitment that was still here, um, the current administration, as well as Mayor Patricelli, the city's in for a lot of big positive surprises. It's just exciting to be a part of this event as well and to be asked to contribute. And, uh, there's nothing closer to my heart than the city of Waterville. With this, I'd like to present the mayor with a half a million dollars. Now we're just going to unveil what the, uh, the rendering look, will look like in here in the splash pad.
give you a brief explanation, there's really two components to the attraction. The one on the right is what we call a spray ground. The play features are down low, based down low to the ground, and this is designed more for the children six and under. Moms can situate themselves around the spray pad and be able to watch their kids. This is a multi-level play structure and it features a tall water slide on this side, and this will certainly attract the older children, perhaps eight, nine, or ten years old can play on this. Both are equipped with a lot of interactive play features, water blasters, shower sprayers, devices of all kinds. And what's great about it is a mom who might have a child, say, three to four years old, and another child that might be seven or eight years old, can play in each of the two play attractions, yet it's small and quaint enough for her to be able to watch both of them. What's also wonderful about it is the division of these two groups. Because what happens when you're three or four years old, you don't want to get run over by the eight or nine years old. So we were uh, conscientious in designing these two features to separate those two and keep them in one confined area. And all of this is going to happen right here. As you can see, right adjacent to the existing swimming pool. So this entire lawn area over here will be this attraction right here. Again, on behalf of the City of Waterblade, I really appreciate the donation of both Scott and Mark in this project and, and accept this check on behalf of the, all the residents of the City of Waterblade. Thank you again. Thank you. Mark, did you want to One last thing. In one of our last meetings, I suggested to uh, the Mayor, the Council, and Mark, the City lends itself to an appropriate name for the site, the Water Elite Park. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Okay, thank you. Come on up closer if you want to take a look at the uh, the plans.